Squaring a piece of stock on a milling machine is one of the most important skills that a machinist must master before moving on to subsequent steps. The first step in the process is to indicate the mill head to assure that it and the vise are square. Deburr the stock. Burrs are the enemy of squareness. Be sure that all burrs are removed and that any chips and dust are removed. Second, be sure that the vise is clean. Place the flattest part of the stock against the fixed jaw of the vise on the milling machine and clamp it into position. If the face that you are going to mill is not above the vise jaws, a set of parallels will need to be used. The tool that will be used for this facing operation is a fly cutter. Fly cutters are single point cutting tools used for face milling. Once the fly cutter is secure in the spindle, calculate the spindle speed needed and turn the spindle on. Now, carefully touch off the fly cutter on the face of the part. Be careful and try to touch off on the highest point of the surface. If you touch off on a lower part of the surface, the cutting tool may incur too heavy of a chip when the facing operation begins. Once the touch off has been made, Zero the cutting tool with the graduated collar that is located on the handle that controls the movement of the table. With the cutter clear of the cutting surface, raise the table ten thousandths. Carefully begin to move the fly cutter across the surface of the part. This operation is to be repeated until the surface of the part is completely faced. Take a final finishing pass of five thousandths and shut off the machine. Remove the block from the vise and proceed to deburr the edges of the part that now have burrs. Be sure to remove all burrs and clean the block. The vise must also be cleaned as well as the parallels if they were used. Take the machine face from the previous operation and flip it away from you and place the machine face against the fixed jaw. Place a soft metal rod between the work and the movable jaw. Fasten the work along with the rod securely in the vise. Now machine the second surface square with the first. You will repeat this process until all four faces have been machined to size. Don't forget to check the block dimensions with a micrometer. Squaring the sides. Fasten and clean the deburred block into the vise on the mill. Be sure that the previously machined faces are placed against the vise jaws with the unfinished sides sticking out to one side of the vise. Select the most rigid end mill available and ensure that the length of the flutes cover the entire face that you will be milling. Move the cutter in and touch off on the side of the part and proceed to side mill until the workpiece is clean. Be sure to take a finishing pass. Repeat this process on the other side after deburring and cleaning the part and the vise.